AJ asking about uh, cheater pleats in a great kilt. How how often do we see that? Is that something that is is done a lot? That's um, a good question. There, he's That's planning on getting a, a second one for his stage slash metal use. Um, oh, okay. So he's he's trying to figure out what how he wants to do that. If it's for a performance costume and you need to be ready to go on time, I would certainly consider it because if you're up on stage, nobody's going to know, and uh, you need to cut all the corners you can so that you have less to stress about before it's time to go out. Yeah. You know, so from and a technical standpoint, I'd say don't worry about it. But Let's backpedal half a second and explain what they are. Okay. <clears throat> when you're wearing a great kilt, a great kilt is literally just, you know, like you see in Braveheart and those kind of moves. A great kilt is literally a length of fabric, effectively four yards, give or take, double width, that you lay it out, lay out on the floor. You kneel down and you hand pleat the back or the middle section of the cloth. You slide a belt underneath it. You lay down on it, you wrap one apron on this side, one apron on that side, you connect the belt, and you stand up, you whippity doo da, wrap things around, put a bridge up at the shoulder, you have on your great kilt. What he's talking about is what are called cheater pleats, where instead of having to sit down there, kneel, and hand pleat the kilt each time, you just sew in a four to six inch section in the center of the kilt so that you can just literally lay it out and it's already sewn in in that section. Then you lay down, slide the belt, boom, whippity doo da. Whippity doo da. Whippity doo da. Um, so, yes, cheater plates are a thing. Yes, people can do them. Um, they're, they're not something we do. No. Um, but it's, yeah, it basically speeds up the process that you don't have to hand pleat the kilt every time you do it. Um, I think it's a way of getting people who are not familiar with how to use a great kilt into buying one. That's why I think some manufacturers who offer them do that, is because, you know, wait, we'll make it easy for you. Um, there is speculation, and I'm not gonna say it's a fact, but there is there is strong speculation that the Highlanders actually had their own form of a cheater pleat in the form of a drawstring. Just passing passing a, a cord, a cord or a heavy string, uh, probably a tablet woven, you know, very, you know, braided cord, through some of the weave of the cloth of your great kilt. So cutting slits and then yeah. weaving it in and out if of it, the slits. If the loose, and it, well, given the weaves back then, if the weave was loose enough, you might even be able to just kind of like poke it through. Poke it through. Yeah. But the idea being that you don't necessarily want to lay down in the mud every time you want to put on your kilt. Uh, you want to have it laid out on your cot or whatever, and it's faster just to be able to tie the drawstring. I think Matt Newsom addressed this in an article okay. year, years ago. Um, I think the jury is still out because it's kind of a, it seems like a logical thing that people would do, but I'm not sure if there's the archaeological evidence to support it. Um, I would rather you do that so you have more choice of fabrics and uh, more flexibility in how you wear it than do the sewn-in cheater pleats because, I mean, cheater, the name kind of says it all. Um, and you're, you're definitely very limited then, whereas if you wanted to, I'm not chastising, but, but you know what I mean. It's kind of like... Um, <coughs> I the, do. Yeah, but you see, there may be a time when you want to have the experience of putting on a great kilt with the with the pleating, with the folds, and doing that kind of that art form of doing it. And uh, the cheater pleats sewn in are not going to allow you to do that. And let's remember, there are there's easily a half a dozen different ways you could wear a great kilt. It wasn't just pleating it with the belt like like Rocky was describing. There are other ways you would arrange it depending on the weather conditions and what you were doing. And if you have the cheater pleats in there, again, you're limited. If you do the drawstring thing. You can get any tartan you want, just because you're buying the yardage, basically, and you can change it up. So I'd I would say this based am I, on. Am I wrong? No, 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 okay. no. Okay. Um, no, based on based on the location of the cheetah pleats mm -hmm. and the permutations of what you would do with a great kilt to wear it, mm -hmm. then that wouldn't re like meaning pulling it up over your head or tying it or uh, moving things around to make pockets and that kind of thing. That wouldn't be affected by the cheetah pleats because they're just in the the belted area anyway. Perhaps. That being said. Sometimes you didn't. No, yeah. I'm I'm getting to the good part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm, I'm getting to the agreement okay. with you part. Okay. Um, that being said, a great kilt was a utilitarian thing. It was a blanket. It would be your sleeping bag. It would be your cover. It would be whatever you need yeah. in the middle of nature. So it was an all-purpose blanket that you wore as a house. Mm -hmm. It's like you're, you're a turtle on a shell. Um, so the drawstring thing you could actually just, you know, remove the drawstring and yeah. just be left with little tiny slits 
if you have a, the cheater pleats in, you couldn't roll it out as a blanket right. and you know curl up in it because it would be you know constricted in the cheater pleat area. Yep. That's what I'm getting at. I, I agree. It's hard to invite someone into your kilt with you if you have cheater pleats. That's true. Mm -hmm. But Do they need to be in your. Never mind. Well, I mean, I'm assuming, you know, I, I, I recommended some form of cheater pleats for him for getting ready for the show. Yeah. But, you know, after the show, when you're inviting people back to the back to the, the dressing rooms and stuff, you know, for the after party, then you might want to have more flexibility with the kilt. And that's would, probably... Would you be in the kilt at that point? This is a family show now. Maybe it's an outdoor show. Maybe it's an outdoor venue. No, this is a family-friendly <laughs> show. Oh, oh. <laughs> Before we get too blue... <laughs> um... Yeah, that's that's. Tell my me take more on about it. these musicians I would, and backstage <laughs> antics, please. Later. Yeah. Um, now, I would I would do a cheater pleat of your own using a drawstring so that you have the convenience for getting ready for a show. Or if it's just that being said, we're talking about historically and we're talking about using it in in nature and that kind of thing. If you're just doing it for a metal show, then and that's your costume for the show, do it. Yeah. Who cares? If it's yeah. just the costume for the show, where you put it on before you go on stage, and at the end you take it off and you put on a pair of shorts, have at right. it. Yep. Yep. Cool. Very good. That was fun. Mr. Mac. I like that.